guys, so today I have another nail polish haul. Um, these are just some things that I've gathered over the last couple weeks that didn't fit into the fall slash Halloween category that I also wanted to show you guys. So I have a couple that are fall slash Halloween, so I'll get those ones out of the way first. Also, I have Zoya's Varushka on my nails, and because I know someone's going to ask, and I'm going to try to start saying that in the beginning of every video or um, putting it in the description box, but it might... I might have to be reminded. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. So anyway, I will start with Super Nails. I have a few from Super Nails that were sent to me to swatch, but I still did want to show them to you guys because they are fall and Halloween. So the first one is Black Cat Crossing, and this is a silver and black micro glitter with little cat shapes in inside. And you know, guys, the cat shapes are like blobs with slightly pointed tops to look like cat ears. I really wish they could do like a full-on cat shape, but apparently I talked to someone on Etsy asking if she could custom make those glitters, and um, apparently they have an issue with the tail like curling up, so so far this is the best we can get with cats, but that one is Black Cat Crossing. The next one is totally separated. It separates really badly, but it like deseparates really fast. Like if I set it upside down, it'll be totally unseparated in like not even a minute. Um, it's really strange, but I think it's because it's glow in the dark. This one is Go With The Glow, and it is a black and glow in the dark green micro glitter mixed in with black, blue, and green hexes and red dots. And I actually really, really like this one. The separation's annoying, but it's not something that I'm like horrified to have to deal with because I really like the way this looks, and the glow is like amazing. Like the glow is really, really strong. The next one is Poisoned, and this is a purple and magenta micro glitter with uh, magenta, like metallic skull and crossbone glitters in there as well. So that is Poisoned. I'm trying to save my favorite ones for last. So this next one is Witch's Brew, and this is the base of this is slightly tinted, um, a slightly tinted jelly with a blue, like flash to it. It doesn't change the color of um, whatever base polish you put it over. It's just very slightly tinted. And in here are pink hexes, um, purple stars and moons, like two different shades of purple, and then a bunch of light blue and purple hexes and squares. And I see some silver holographic in there also. This one was so perfectly glitter dense. Um, didn't have to fish for anything. Everything came out really smoothly and like really easy to put it on the nail. I was really impressed with this one. So that is Witch's Brew. This next one is Candy Corn and it is all triangle glitters, yellow, orange, and white. And it's I really like this. Apparently um, there is a Crelly version of this one as well. So I think that might be interesting to try. But I have the clear based version and yeah again that is Candy Corn. The next one is called Charming Vampire and this is a pink jelly base with um, red shredded glitter, magenta, silver, I think that's it, um, really small micro like metallic glitters, white uh, triangles, which I believe are supposed to be vampire teeth, and black hearts. This was um, completely opaque on its own in two coats, so the jelly base in this is like meant to be worn on its own, and it's just, it's really, really cool. The hearts, I didn't have a hard time, the hearts are really big compared to the other things in the glitter, but I didn't have a hard time getting those out. They actually came out really easily, and um, no sinking at all either, so that is Charming Vampire. The next one is Jack-O-Lantern, and it is a metallic orange um, hex mix. There's nothing too big in there, but there's a few different sizes, and then there are black triangles in there as well, which, in my mind, uh, I would think are the, like, the eye and mouth cutouts for a Jack-O-Lantern. This one is really, really cool. This one is also like crazy, crazy dense. Like you actually, if you want to wear this and have a good amount of your base color showing, you actually have to try to thin it out a little bit because it's so awesomely dense. So I really like that one. Again, that is Jack-O-Lantern. And the last one from Super Nails is my absolute favorite, and this is Frankenstein's Stitches. And this is a like murky, ugly green, <laughs> um, like jelly, crelly base with small black rectangular glitters matte and then green metallic glitters and I think there are some yeah uh, little hexes and squares for the green metallics this can also be worn on its own it was opaque in two maybe three coats and it looks exactly like what it's supposed to look like someone actually um, commented on my Instagram and said that it looks like a creeper in Minecraft and I'm not super familiar with Minecraft but I can picture what she's talking about and yeah it looks exactly like that 
too. So I really like this one. Probably my favorite. That is Frankenstein's Stitches. So I will link Super Nails down below so you can check those out. She has a bunch of other ones that came out for Halloween this year as well. So there's some different things other than just what I showed you. Really cool stuff. The last two fall Halloween ones that I have are from Loaded Lacquer. This was the fall duo. Um, she had some really cool stuff come out for Halloween also, but I wasn't too interested in those, but I really like these. So the first one is a Jiggle, which is her jelly polishes. Um, they're actually, this one at least, is more like a curly. You can get it opaque in probably three coats. Uh, or you can wear it on its own with jelly sandwiches. This is Rusted Pumpkin. It is a like, burnt orange, orangey red kind of uh, jelly polish. And I really like this. I haven't swatched this one yet, but I will have it swatched before the video. Because I've been liking putting pictures, like swatch pictures up, instead of video swatches. Because I feel like I can get the color more accurate when I do that. So let me know what you guys think about that. I want to know which ones you prefer. But anyway, so this is Rusted Pumpkin. And the next one is Dark Chocolate Truffle. And this is like a gold, um, I don't know, I don't want to say flaky and I don't want to say shredded because they're really small, but it's like a really small gold shredded with um, like chocolate brown metallic hexes and some black hexes in there. Also, it's really, really pretty and everything is really fine. There's nothing really chunky in that one. So I really like that. That is dark chocolate truffle. I will link Loaded Lacquer down below. They're usually really hard to get your hands on, so you have to kind of stalk her social media for restock dates and stuff if you do want to get um, any of her polishes because like they go really fast. So the first ones that I have, um, I have a couple from these two brands and then I have a bunch from Glitter Days to show you so I'll start with the small ones first. I have some from Glitterlands. I just got these recently but decided to throw them in here and they're both like pinky, I don't know. I still want like bursts of pink and bright colors this time of year. I, sometimes I just can't take all the darks. So this one is It's So Fluffy and it is a clear based glitter with um, Iridescent hexes, pink, like very light pink circles and hexes, white squares, a really fine white glitter, and a really fine iridescent glitter running throughout it, and it's really, really pretty. It makes me want to eat little pink cake things. Like, I don't even know, just like cheap, like little Debbie snack things. I just don't want to eat them when I see this. So. And the next one is Strawberry Preserves. This is a clear-based glitter, and this is all fairly small. I see light pink squares. Um like more hot pink hexes, a few different sizes of those, and then there are metallic pink squares and hexes in there, and then there's a really fine glitter mix that runs throughout it that kind of follows all those same colors. So I really like that one as well, again, that Strawberry Preserves. The next two are from Colors to Carol. This is the um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month duo, because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The first one is Pink Hope, and it is a um, sheer pink with an awesome like blue, violet, and pink shimmer running throughout it. It's very subtle. This was kind of sheer. I had to have three coats on this one to cover my nail line, but it's really, really pretty. It's a nice, delicate baby pink, and um, the shimmer in this is just amazing. And the other one in that duo is called By Your Side, and this is an amazing glitter polish. Um, there are white bars, and I know not everybody likes bar glitters, but they're very short. Um, and then there are, like fuchsia, this gorgeous like fuchsia circle glitter, like smaller circles, um, matte pink hexes, pink bows, and light pink triangles, and there's a really fine um, metallic pink glitter running throughout it as well, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, and this was totally like just perfectly dense, like you got the perfect amount um, to wear it as a topper on your brush the first time was absolutely gorgeous and I had no issue with the bows either. They stay suspended really well. So I will link Colors to Carol also down below so you guys can check those out. Um, so I don't know if that's an exclusive to the month of October thing or not, but if you're interested in that I would get on it fairly soon. And the last ones that I have are from Glitter Days. Um, Glitter Days contacted me. I worked with them in the past, I think it's been like a year, over a year, year and a half maybe, um, and asked if I wanted to swatch some polishes and do a video. Yes, obviously, and um, she sent a bunch, so I, I was really excited to see that many, but it's a lot to go through, so um, what hasn't been posted on my Instagram account yet will be shortly, so if you want to see um, the swatches again or whatever, I always swatch polishes on my Instagram if you want to follow me on there. The first four are from a uh, Mean Girls themed collection, which um, is like right at my age point. Because I was in high school when Mean Girls came out and it was a really big deal. <laughs> so 
So the first one is a medium pink cream called On Wednesdays We Wear Pink. This one was really good, opaque in two coats. I'm actually really impressed with the cream polishes that I was sent because they're really, really, like, amazingly uh, smooth and easy to apply. The formula is really good. So that is On Wednesdays We Wear Pink. The next one is kind of a dusty pink, um, kind of walking the line between pink and purple holographic, and this one is called That's So Fetch. The hollow on this one was like moderately strong, it was definitely there, but it wasn't like a blinding one. That is That's So Fetch. The next one in here is called Boo You Whore, and this is a pink, um, it almost looks like a pink metallic, but it has these like gold, it has a strong gold shimmer running throughout it, and then it also has these really light, almost like little flaky looking, like glass fleck, goldish glass fleck um, shimmers in there as well. So when I first saw this, I was like, yeah, that doesn't really look that amazing to me. But then I saw it in better lighting, and that gold shimmer that runs throughout it is really, really cool. And the last one in that um, collection is called Can't Sit With Us, and this is a glitter topper. It is um, black and white with iridescent glitter, pink matte glitter, um, and then it kind of looks like the base has this really cool like silver shimmer to it. Not very strong, but it, you'll definitely notice it. And then there's like crazy, crazy thin bars in there as well. Um, there are, I see triangles, and I see bow shapes, and then just circles and hexes and all the stuff that's normally in glitter toppers. So again, that is You Can't Sit With Us. So the next ones I think are all from a summer collection. They're all like summery-ish. Um, there are a few creams, which I will do the creams first. Like I said, the formula on all these creams really, really amazing, and they all had the same formula, really easy to apply, opaque in two coats. Um, I was really impressed with these. They're great layering polishes for glitters. So the first one is a nude, and this one is called Beach Bumming and Grinding, and it is a slightly, I don't know, it's a nude, but it's kind of like a warmer skin tone kind of nude, if that makes sense. Sense. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but there's something slightly different about this than other nudes. I think it's just warmer toned. I'm really bad with stuff like that. But again, that is, what is that? Beach bumming and grinding. Next one is Floozin' and Cruisin', and it is this gorgeous pastel purple. This one is a slightly more, like, pinky purple than, say, Lime Crime's Lavendary. This one has just a little bit more um, pink to it, I guess. And the formula on this one is really, really good as well. Next one is Sir Fort with tea. I get it, I just don't know how I feel about it. Um, and this is, oh, this is really cool. This is like a, walking the line between like a mint and pistachio kind of pastel green color. And it's a cream and it's just really, really nice. This is probably, mm, of the creams, this is definitely my favorite one. So, and that is Sir Fort. And the last one of the creams is Nooner on the Schooner. I don't get a lot of these. I feel like I should. Um, and this is the, like, perfect pastel peach cream. This is absolutely amazing. I don't think I have anything even remotely similar to this. I tried to compare it to Peach's Love Cream from Lime Crime, and it's just, this one is even more perfect. Where Peach's Love Cream kind of comes off more as, like, a true orange compared to this. And this is absolutely amazing. So, again, that is Nooner on the Schooner. Now that I think about it, some of these have like flower themed names, so I think this was a couple different collections mixed together, but this one is Iris of My Eye, and this is a light blue curly base with, oh geez, there's a couple different shades of purple in here. Um, I see stars and hearts, little white bars, a lot. there's a slight silver shimmer to it and a small silver glitter, glitter running throughout, and then there's black and white glitters. There as well. I see like the tiniest stars in the entire world as well. So that is Iris of My Eye. The next one is You Take My Baby's Breath Away. And this one is a light purple curly base. There's a really cool purple shimmer that runs throughout this. And then there are like baby pink hexes, light blue hexes, little periwinkle stars. There's like a gray glitter in here as well, like a very light gray. There's stars and squares in that. The tiniest little like spider hair looking black bar glitters, um, and then I also see black squares. The next one is the Bouquet and the Bees, and this has a slightly, I don't know, orangey yellow kind of curly base. I would say it's yellow, but compared to the next one, it's not quite the same. This one has like very bright hot pink and bright orange hexes in there, uh, and flowers, there's pink flowers. 
black hearts, those weird little spider hair bar glitters that I don't know how I feel about. And, um, and then there's just all different sizes of black hexes in there as well. So that is the bouquet and the bees. So the next one is Don't Rain on My Garden Party. It is a yellow, like a more true yellow. And this one has the same hot pink hexes in there. And then there are stars, the same bright orange, um, yellow glitters, and then blue. There's a lot of those really itty bitty stars and I really like those. And I also see some flowers, some circles. Yeah, everything in here is matte as well. This one doesn't have that shimmer running throughout it, but it does have very, very fine um, matte glitters running throughout it instead. So the last three are all clear based glitters. This first one is called Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This. I think we're into another collection now. And this one is those neon glitters that just came out that can go over black, um, this has those in it. And it is black matte glitter mixed with pink, purple, and green of those neon glitters. There might be some larger black hearts in here because it is really hard to tell because it all kind of blends together. But everything is matte. There's no shimmer like running throughout it at all. Um, and everything seems to be fairly small unless there are any of those hearts in there. So there's that one. The next one is just like the last one. This one is I Died in Your Arms Tonight. Well, glitter mix wise. The same neon glitters that can go over black and the black matte glitter mixed in, but this has pink, purple, green, and orange, and then there are um, pink hearts in here. That's the chunky glitter, but everything else is relatively small. So that is I Just Died in Your Arms Tonight. And the last one is Don't Stop Believing. This has those same neon glitters in there, but it also has a little bit of black and white. There's not as much black as in the last two. Um, I see purple, pink, orange, a couple different shades of orange, blue and green. Then there are also iridescent glitters running throughout it, a very fine iridescent glitter running throughout it, and then some larger things like stars, um, hearts. Everything is still relatively small aside from those like occasional chunky glitters, but this one is a brighter mix and it's a lot sparklier too. So that is Don't Stop Believing. I will link glitter days down below so you can check those out as well. Um, other than that, that is the entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Bye.